The state of Florida's health care regulator is pushing back against an FDA approval of an abortion pill. That pill got the green light to be sold at retail pharmacies across the country. News for Jack's reporter Vic Michalucci tells us the state says violators could face criminal charges. A new development for Mifepristone, an abortion pill used to terminate a pregnancy up to 10 weeks. I think that everyone probably has their own decisions to make on it. A week after the FDA cleared the way for retail pharmacies across the country to sell it, Florida's Agency for Healthcare Administration sent out this alert to providers reminding them of the state laws on performing abortions, which say no termination of pregnancy shall be performed at any time except by a licensed physician. And it is unlawful for any person to perform or assist in performing an abortion on a person except in an emergency care situation other than in a validly licensed hospital or abortion clinic or in a physician's office. After the FDA approved the sale of this drug at retail pharmacies, big companies like Walgreens and CVS said that they would sell it in their stores as long as it was legal in the state. So here in Florida, it looks like that's not going to happen. So it was very clear to us that it is not legal in the state of Florida to do so in a community pharmacy. Dr. Kevin Duane is a pharmacist and owner of Panama Pharmacy. He says the state is using existing laws to take a stance against the pregnancy ending drug, threatening legal action for anyone in violation. What are some of the safety concerns that you might have about it being dispensed at a pharmacy versus a licensed and certified doctor's office. Yeah, so I think anytime you expand access, you worry about if the setting is not appropriate for it. And if the setting is not appropriate for it, then you're worried about increased risk of bleeding with this drug, um, hemorrhaging. And uh, the drug is not benign. You know, there have been several dozen deaths attributed to it directly. Dr. Duane says we'll likely see challenges in court. But for now, the state laws will take precedence over the FDA approval. I'm Vic Michalucci, Channel 4, the local station.